Sooner or later, you're going to be typing numbers into your document, and some of them will be currency or at least decimal numbers. Maybe it'll be a list of assets in a probate estate, or perhaps you'll be delineating damages in a demand letter. What I see people do in situations like this is use a combination of default tabs with a few extra spaces thrown in to try to line things up. But if you throw a grid behind your document by going to View, Show Grid Lines, you'll see the ugly truth. Your numbers aren't lined up at all. That's because when you're using a proportional font like Times New Roman, every character takes up a different amount of space. That's what makes proportional fonts proportional. That's also what makes them more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Instead of trying to line your numbers up manually, set up a decimal tab. First, turn on the ruler by going to the View tab and checking the box next to Ruler. Then, select the paragraphs you need to list numbers in. Remember, tabs are a paragraph alignment setting. And click on the Format menu and choose Tabs. Once you're in the Tabs dialog box, take a look at the document behind it and figure out where the decimal point should land. In this example, maybe we'd want the decimal point to be around the 3 inch mark. Type 3.0 into the Tab Stop Position field. Then, select Decimal in the Alignment section just to the right. If you want some sort of leader character like dots, you can select that in the Leader section below. Then click OK to finish. If you've already got a bunch of tabs and spaces in your newly formatted paragraphs, just take those out. You should be left with one tab stop just before your numbers. If you set your decimal tab before you started typing your numbers, which I recommend, this is what you'll see happening. Did you catch that? The number anchored at the tab stop and pushed the digits to the left. Then, when I hit the decimal key, the numbers started typing to the right.